A 95-story Tower Coombe Casino that would dwarf the World Trade Center. It's the Friday Roundtable with Republican strategist Amanda Wallachan and the Democratic Mayor of Roselle, Jamel Holly. Thank you both for being with us. Thank Politics you, is the art of the possible. How probable is that tower? I don't know. It's, it seems like it's a dream in a developer's head right now. It was an article in the Star-Ledger three days ago, but again, there are many hoops to jump through. I think he had mentioned that it, he was looking to put it in Liberty State Park, which is state land, which is very difficult, and gambling isn't legal outside of Atlantic City or your home right well, now. Well, even if they expand uh, casino gambling to North Jersey, which... I think it's phenomenal, uh, Mary Alice. I mean, I think the fact that the uh, mayor has been very proactive in trying to attract uh, new uh, revenue to his city and to the region is phenomenal. And I think that we should try to make every attempt uh, to try to make that possible. I mean, it's creating jobs. It's creating new revenue to, to the region and to the city. You're a mayor. Would you like a casino in your town? Absolutely. If I had the land for it. Truly? And, and the deal, absolutely. It would attract so much. We're in the economic development, you know, uh, area uh, in, in our lives these days. And you know what? This is, this is, this is great. I mean, I think this is exciting that the mere fact that we're talking about, you know, building a new casino in the region where, you know, it, it hasn't been in a very, very, very long time. But one that dwarfs the World Trade Center? That seems Listen, unseemly. Listen, no, nothing dwarfs the World Trade Center. The World Trade Center will always be an earmark of what it is. And you know what? Why not give Steve Fulop, Mayor Fulop, uh, a, a new casino in Jersey City I, if that's what him and his residents agree on? I think it's a matter of priorities because clearly the governor has made Atlantic City a priority in his agenda. And it's a matter of are we willing to damage Atlantic City to increase revenue in the state for gambling? And it's a legitimate argument, and both sides have it. Now, I was in Atlantic City personally over the weekend, and it was booming. The restaurants were full. Really? The uh, hotels were at capacity, and it's great. So it's a matter of do we need to throw the baby out with the bathwater uh, after Revel, or can we address it and, and try to revive Atlantic City? I'm going to change the subject, folks. The, um, the governor vetoed legislation that would have limited the size of ammunition magazines from 15 rounds to 10 rounds. He vetoed that. Um, and took some flack for it nationally. Yeah, you know, Mary Alice, you know, as a mayor, and I, I'll give you from a personal experience. When I first became mayor, the first four months of my term, uh, I, I experienced four shootings in my town. You know, three individuals passed away, young individuals. And you know, you try to do so much you can as a mayor. More police presence, more cops on the street. You know, at some point, state and federal government needs to step in. And I've been on this show time and time again. I've spoken in opposition of Governor Christie when he done wrong, and I've spoke in favor when he's done right. And this one, I'm a little disappointed because this is where local municipalities and, and uh, you know, mayors and, 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 and council people need that, that, that additional help from state government. And, and we thought that, that the governor would come through on this, and the legislature clearly did. And you know, I'm just a little bit disappointed in the governor that he would just take this action because it's, it's much needed. Amanda, is, does this have to do with his positioning himself for the presidential race? I know he hates it when we mention that, but it's, he's, he's uh, in what, Iowa? He's going to Iowa next week. It's kind of hard to avoid. I'm not sure if it's positioning himself, but he said it himself that this was his intention. And when the families, and my heart breaks for the families, you can't imagine what they've gone through. And he had said that he didn't want to meet with them and be a hypocrite knowing what he intended to do. And he had said that he didn't feel personally that limiting the magazine by one third, it, why not limit it completely then? Be, because what life is not worth saving? Right. So he had said that. So I don't think it's positioning himself for the presidential race. And I also think with these mass shootings, this is, they're two different, there are two different schools of thought. And one is with these mass shootings, yes, the magazine is important, but also we need to address the bigger issue, which is mental health in this country. And we need to pull people out of the shadows who are suffering because with these specific instances, that's exactly what all, they all point to. Mental health is an issue, and we, we should definitely address that. But we're talking about common sense gun control legislation. And this is that. There's so many steps. There's so much more that we can do. But we have to take steps with this. And and this would have been the first step that the governor could have really uh, taken as as the governor to, to, to allow this to go forward. You know, and I'm just, you know, I'm a little disappointed that uh, he didn't go through with this. In the very little time we have mm -hmm. left, I want to switch you back to economic development. The Economic Development Authority gave a tax subsidy, voted a tax subsidy of $260 million for a company to create 250 new jobs in Camden. 
Uh, that's the third biggest since Revel and the American Dream Xanadu thing, which didn't work out so well. What do you think? Listen, Camden is in dire straits. Your previous guest, we were chatting about it. It needs help. And this is something that would bring jobs to the community and with jobs, work on reviving the community. I agree. I agree. Uh, Camden uh, needs uh, very uh, much help, and uh, Dana Red has been doing an amazing job as mayor there, and she definitely needs some stabiliz stabilization there. And I think this is a step in the right direction to help her get that. Amanda, how many mayors do you know who have a coloring book? Not many. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Thank you so much. I'm going to tell you about this next week.